What's up, my Fina loves? It's Miss Fina D coming to you all from Fina Entertainment News. What's up, Fina Entertainment? <laughs> <laughs> I love her. Love her content. That's the ground. Love you. I love you too, Leticia. And thank you so much for your kind words and your shout out. You are every. Okay, so during that Instagram live on Sunday, I wrote on the screen during the Toya and Eugene segment of the episode, girl, you better be grateful. That man is working all of those hours and is still making time to be an amazing romantic husband. Okay, one of the points that Toya made during that Instagram live was basically to other people she understands is, you know, romantic and all cute. But for her, when you are receiving the same thing over and over again, you want something different. Especially after all of these years. What Toya is missing is the fact that after all of these years, your husband is still making an effort. After all of these years, you are still an excitement to him. After all of these years, he still wants to be romantic and do these things for you. After all of these years, he is still putting the effort in. That alone should put a smile on your face. Now, Toya is entitled to her opinion. Dr. Eugene is there. He's smiling, all of that. I'm going to replay the Instagram live because that segment was almost six minutes long. For those of you who saw it, I want to read some of social media reaction since that's the focus, you know, the title. And then we're going to play the Instagram live. For those of you who did not watch the episode or you watched the episode but did not watch their Instagram live, okay? So let's read some comments and then get to the Instagram live just to remind you all of what happened. This woman really, really enjoys embarrassing the bleep out of the man who made her a wine sipping tennis playing, get a community golf cart driving, goodness, stay at home wife. Damn. I'm sorry. I told ya Eugene just can't believe his dorky behind got someone as pretty as Toya. So whatever he gotta do to keep her, that's what he's gonna do. How many times have ya went to dinner or had someone cook over the last 15 years? Right, a ton. That's why this isn't that fun. It's not rocket science. Laughing face emoji. Do something outside of the normal, not the same ish repeatedly. So there are people defending Toya and then people disagreeing with this person coming. Maybe she should plan a date. So, you know, it goes both ways, but let's continue. He allows it, then it's on him. He needs to speak his mind and check her when she's being inappropriate. I'm pretty sure Toya wasn't treating him like that before she got the ring. She probably speaks to him like that because that's how her parents spoke to her. For Toya to have nothing going on in life except for the fact that she married a doctor, she really should be more grateful. Ouch. She does have things going on. You know, she just released her wine and all of that. She's a great mother. Married to medicine is a job. But, you know, she got things going on. I get it. But ouch, that was a little harsh. It's all fun and games until someone gets tired of not being appreciated. Baby, she gonna be crying so bad. Unfortunately, yes. She's so rude to say that in front of the chef. Shaking my head and stop dogging your husband for doing something nice for you. Wow, Eugene deserves someone better. She's ungrateful and exhausting. Toya annoys me. It's all fun and games until these women start sliding in this man's DMs, chair. It's clear she's never satisfied. That's why they moved 800 times. She loves to embarrass him and talk to him like ish. Toya doesn't seem to respect him much. I understand wanting grand romantic gestures, but I'm just curious as to what she does for him. He works super long shifts, cooks, clean, still helping you tick out your hair, attends all the shows, couples, functions, etc. Go ahead and read the rest. Now, I understand what people are saying, but I'm still not going to diminish what she does. As a stay-at-home mom, that's still a job. And she works for Married to Medicine, and now she have, you know, her business and things like that. So the issue here is, even if it's repetitive, you're used to it, no one is saying be quiet, set your expectations, but at least still be grateful that the man is at least trying compared to just, you know, shutting it down. Yes, they did have some laughing moments, some cute moments, some 
fun moments and all of that, but it was just a constant complaining. I think that's the reason why people are highly upset with her. I'm going to read a few more and then I'm going to run that segment of the Instagram live back and then I'm going to go ahead and end it. Every season she has an issue with him. This man works crazy hours and on his days off, he is tired. That's probably why he does date nights at the home and wonder why Quad so comfortable disrespect to him. Because you do it. Ouch. I'm convinced that no matter what he does, she will always complain or try to embarrass him. And yes, that laugh is so thick and annoying. Not her laugh too. Yeah, really dragging this lady. Okay, just a few more and then we're done. Eugene, not Eugene love the abuse. What? For real? I'm like, dude, where's your self-esteem? I was really disappointed in Toya for this. Shaking my head. This is a romantic date. She complained the entire time, even if this wasn't what she wanted to do. Why couldn't she be happy with the intention behind it? He's trying. My point, she's never satisfied, always miserable, simply doesn't want him just his money. Shaking my head. Chad, when I tell you the people are sick and tired of Toya, you can go ahead and read that comment on the screen for yourself. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next one. Because I just read a similar comment, I'm not reading this one, but you can read it for yourself about, you know, the way how she disrespects him. She's basically setting him up for other people to, you know, disrespect him as well. Oh, yeah, be hard on Eugene. The man is an ER doctor, provided you with a good lifestyle. He loves weight. He is trying to get your mojo back. I would at least be considerate of my man in his efforts. I would have been grateful and appreciative and gave him a 10. Soon as he gets tired of her, his inbox is going to be hot. I think she plays into his insecurities, but once he gets confidence, I think he will wait till them kids 18 and he off living his best life. Just imagine working as a doctor 12 hour days and then having to film for the show. What Toya needs to understand is that filming for marriage and medicine is also very much a job. The man comes home from work tired to lights and cameras in his face. I couldn't imagine zero privacy or a chance to decompress and relax after working. Toya can be so selfish at times. Man, they are preaching to her, Chad. Like how he incorporated both of them. She wanted to go out and he likes to cook. She's just ungrateful. But Eugene is going to stand by her regardless, LL. So let her disrespect him all she wants. Every time this is addressed at the reunion, he has a rebuttal. She ain't grateful for it. She waiting, Toya. They are waiting. Toya, when you run him off, I'm pulling a sweet tea all in the DM telling him I can give you what you need. Be appreciative. Yeah, I know that's right. Anyways, let's go ahead and replay this Instagram live for those of you who missed it or just, uh, you know, refresh. It's one thing to watch the episode, but it's another thing to see them watch the episode and then give a rebuttal to what you know people are saying and the instagram live didn't help either i mean she was interrupting him it was a hot mess but dr eugene just you know smiled through it all and you know what uh, hopefully it will all work out for them let's get into it i'm wishing all of you well and take care and let's get into that segment of the instagram live you guys been back have you guys been back right here have you guys been back since that time Oh. oh yeah. He does. Oh, that's one. Is that that's your favorite restaurant? Oh, oh, it's a butcher. It looks just like you like the lapo. It's a real for real deal butcher shop. Oh, look at Eugene. I love the butcher. Look at the butcher. Yeah, like a heart like that. Look how good his wife look. He ain't paying no attention. He want to see that wild goose. We just ran over here talking about, but that was wild goose. Okay, I ain't mad at it. Like that wild goose is the best beef in the world, baby. First of all, it's still going, honey. <laughs> oh, it's still going. The bacon was really good. But you hear what I said? I said it tastes good. I'm gonna name it toilet. Oh, oh, huh? oh, 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 I she missed, missed it. it. Went right over my head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a compliment. I said y'all look nice on, nice on date night. Y'all didn't hear that. Huh. No. no. Wait again. A5 Wagyu, that steak was a $200 steak. Period. Yeah.
Now that's why that man works Without like cookies. that, so he can feed you two hundred dollars steak. Okay. Out of ten, seven. A seven. <laughs> a good marriage, the foundation is based on honesty, okay? So, honesty. Yeah, right. Talk about your damn steak, Eugene. Go ahead. Yeah. What you want to talk about okay. steak? First of all. And talk about the books. But first, first, first of all, I, you know, we, 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 we both like good food, okay? And so I was like, hey, if I have a nice romantic meal, private chef, private kitchen cooked in front of us what an experience and then i found this place that yes when you walk in it is a butcher shop okay but it's the sexiest butcher shop you ever going <laughs> okay okay when i tell you if, if they would have took the meat out honey i need clothes, to be able to talk to so you gotta get to your point i got it okay. if they would have took the meat out <laughs> and put clothes you would have thought it was Some a boutique else. for clothes uh -uh. place sexy but then when you go to the next room dining area you go to the next room after that kitchen so I thought it was nice. It was a, it, that sounds it was a, hey, it, it was a nice. It wasn't kitchen. that it wasn't nice, and everybody. It is always nice when your right. husband at least tries to do something, Period. right? But what people need to understand is that when we're in a marriage, and I know that you can relate. Anybody that can relate that has been in any relationship, yeah. to be honest. After a while, it gets to a point where it's the same mundane things all the time, Fair enough. and you just get to a place. Where you start looking at other people's life and you're like, you know, I don't want their life, but dang, you know, I want to go to that restaurant. You know, I want to get dressed mm -hmm. up. You right. know, I want to mm -hmm. have a reason mm -hmm. to do something. Like right now, he's like, oh, I'll go, you know, to, 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 the, to the Lions game, you know, if they win the yeah, Super Bowl. Yeah. And it's like, so do you want to go for me and the Lions or do you want to go just to be in the <laughs> Super Bowl? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, okay, but. And so, I want to go to the school. <laughs> I want to go to the uh, We want to go see us. Why, why can't it be the we don't, couple? We don't get who's playing. Us going to be the halftime. So we know that's going to be tea. Why, but isn't it about spending quality time together? It's about spending quality time together. commercial. What's going down with the Walmart? I know. I just saw. I was looking at that. Like, oh. Walmart commercial. Y'all was going to be the halftime. 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 Y'all was going to be Okay, so okay, so I guess I'm a Tarjay type of girl and he's a Walmart type So Walmart Toya, Walmart what man. Toya, what is the perfect day? I yes. think the, that's a good question. The perfect day is always about what the other partner needs. So for me, when I'm planning a date for him, I always look to find things that he's interested in. Mm -hmm. And so that at the end of the day, he can be like, Man, you really was looking out for me and I appreciate you. Mm -hmm. So that's the perfect day. And then it ends, you know, on a romantic note. And so she's trying to like, like, oh, I mean, wow. I don't be wrong. We don't always do it right. You know, like on his birthday, I thought taking him to Chicago, your hometown, I thought taking him to Chicago was going to be, you know, this amazing thing. But I think he was like, at one point, he was like, we could have just stayed at home. And I was like, really? Maybe y'all wasn't flying up for Chicago. Maybe I was, we, we kicked it. We had a good time. What happened? But, no, nothing happened. You take, you took that one, you took that out of context. Like, for, for me, yeah, a perfect don't, don't, don't date would be us sharing some, a new experience to together. Like, like, we did a drum circle drum, one day, like, and that was so he said, I ask that question. Like, we could have stayed on. To answer your question, Greg, I would have been happy either. Place. I hate he said he would have been. He just want to be with you. He love your dirty drums. Right. Hey, so don't take he it out. He love your dirty drums. I don't wear no dirty drums. You know what I'm saying? I would. No, Chad. You seem like you the type don't wear no draw. No, I actually I love panties. Right, hey, no, hey, no, I love panties. Hey, I do. I love panties. I don't like panties. Thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post, you're aware that I post it. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.